Today, doctors are using incredibly high-tech procedures to save lives, and wow, there is so much more on the horizon. So back with us again today, Dr. Stephen Joyal. He's the Chief Medical Officer for Life Extension, which is an organization dedicated to extending healthy human lifespan. Welcome back. Great to be here. Regenerative medicine. Yes. Some people call it uh, anti-aging medicine. Some people call it age management. Regenerative, what does that mean? Regenerative medicine, in a simple sense, is taking old things and making them new again. And there are a variety of cutting-edge technologies now that are a part of regenerative medicine. One of them, of course, is stem cell research, mm -hmm. stem cell technology. You underwent a procedure a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, and that type of stem cell technology has very broad applications. For example, there was a recent story of a 10-year-old Swedish girl who had a congenital blockage in the vein leading to her liver. This is a, a schematic of, of the artery. And what they did was they essentially took this girl's stem cells and they regrew, regrew, I mean, this is amazing, a blood vessel and transplanted into the girl. Now, the advantage of this is, is multiple, but one of the biggest is that with organ transplantation, there typically is an immune reaction. But since this uh, organ, the vein, use the girl's stem cells, was there was no risk of an immune reaction. Right, so this is one of yeah. the big benefits of stem cell technology. Well, that's why, that's why my uh, procedure was just so beautiful, because yes. uh, they just essentially took me and put me back into me, but it in a different place. It was me into, into me. Me into me. The body won't reject itself. This really is the future of medicine, using uh, essentially self to self. The best hope for replacement of diseased tissues and organs, mm -hmm truly curing diseases that right now there are therapies, things like Alzheimer's disease, which is not curable, Parkinson's right. disease, which right. is not curable, type 1 diabetes, which is treatable, but again, not curable. In my opinion and our opinion at Life Extension, really stem cell technology offers the best opportunity. We talked about the future of medicine. Right. I think it's important people understand what can they do now, today, to hopefully prevent or identify if they're at high risk for heart attack and stroke. So what can they do? We can talk about a few things. Aspirin, both in terms of cardiovascular protection mm -hmm. as well as some intriguing data looking at reducing cancer risk. Now, Life Extension identified aspirin as a way of reducing cardiovascular risk 30 years ago, far ahead of the curve in terms of conventional medicine. There's a test, though, called the Aspirin Works Test, and this is very important. Why? because about 25% of people are resistant to the effects of aspirin. Now, everything in medicine is risk and benefit, and there are certain risks with aspirin. Bleeding is the big one. Mm -hmm. So it's important to identify those people who are best to benefit. And about 25% of the population is resistant to the benefits in terms of uh, heart risk reduction with I aspirin, correct. Because um, there's a, a theory that we should take a a little baby aspirin every yes. day? Yes, 81 to 100 milligrams of aspirin has been shown in a variety of studies to help reduce the risk of having a second heart attack. And in patients at high risk, these are patients who have diabetes, high blood pressure, high levels of cholesterol. It's also very important for preventing the risk of a first heart attack. So that's why you would take that test? Yes. Okay, what's the next thing, the next test? Well, let's talk about something called the VAP test. VAP stands VAP? for- VAP? Yes, vertical auto profile. Okay. And that offers us information that is not typically captured in a usual cholesterol test. When you go to your doctor to get a cholesterol test, it measures, he or she measures a cholesterol level. What the VAP test does is it assesses particle size. The VAP test identifies if you have small, dense LDL particles or large, buoyant LDL particles. Those so very large, important test. Ones. Large, so fluffy, large, fluffy, 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 happy. Large, good. Okay, yes. good. And small, not good. Correct. This VAP test, again, offers information to identify people at risk that would not be captured if mm -hmm. they went and had a conventional cholesterol test. Is there like a body type or can you look at someone and go, oh boy, I bet they've got little small particles or could it happen to anybody? We talk about so-called pear shapes and apple shapes and that does hold true somewhat. Uh -huh. So individuals who tend to carry their weight, their obesity uh -huh. around the center of their body, uh -huh. so-called central obesity, that's associated with insulin resistance and cardiovascular risk. So if you see someone, the uh, often mentioned beer belly or beer gut, <laughs> that person's at risk. Yeah, there's another test. Yes, the omega score, okay. and it's something that we've talked often about, even mm -hmm. off camera, the importance of fish oils, 
The omega score identifies what your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio is, and that means if they have too high a ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. And the remedy for that is very easy. It's fish oil, fish oil supplementation. We've been sold this bill of goods that the omega-6s are uh, heart healthy, and they're vegetable oils, and what are the important oils that people can use? That's a great question. Uh -huh. So in terms of, I would say, kind of heart neutral, potential mm -hmm. heart benefits, olive oil is a great choice yes, to use. Yes, yummy. How about a nice, big, juicy, uh, grass-fed steak? Our beef now is fed with corn, right. and cows aren't naturally designed by biology to eat corn. Yeah. Well, what corn does is it dramatically raises the omega-6 content in beef. So grass-fed beef is absolutely preferable to corn-fed beef. What is the re website? This is all great information. Again, <laughs> you're <laughs> <Thank> a keeper. <laughs> um, it's lef.org. Okay. Thank you so much. Great Thank information. You. To learn more about what you've heard today on The Suzanne Show, sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway, brought to you by Life Extension. You'll receive a free special report all about little-known blood tests that may save your life. Plus, you'll get a free one-year Life Extension membership with no obligation and access to groundbreaking information for longer life. You'll also be entered for a chance to win exciting prizes every week, including a luxury cruise. Sign up now for the Ultimate Health Giveaway at SuzanneTV.com or at The Suzanne Show Facebook page.